This is WCPO 9 News. Thank you for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Brett Boganski. A warning from one Cincinnati animal shelter tonight about animal rescues after nearly 130 dogs are taken from a Butler County home. The sheriff's office says 30 of those dogs were dead, stored in freezers inside the rescue. WCPO 9 News reporter Sean Delancey shows you how to protect your pet if unfortunately you're ever forced to give them up. When Butler County officials searched helping hands for furry paws animal rescue, they say they found deplorable conditions. The folks over at Cincinnati Animal Care say sadly that can happen to pets who've been given up, but it doesn't have to happen to your pets. Bodies in freezers, living dogs stuffed in hot cages. <coughs> Many survivors taken for help still suffering. Some of the worst conditions ever found at an animal rescue, according to Butler County officials. Five sets of puppies, no food. This one was nursing other pups, and you can see ribs hanging out. So pretty nasty stuff. The conditions at Helping Hands for Furry Paws Rescue were night and day from Cincinnati Animal Care, where volunteers are beautifying and 40 to 50 employees work daily like Yes, he's a good baby. Ray Anderson to ensure that the animals have what they need. For a lot of folks, they don't even know the difference between a shelter and a rescue. Anderson says rescues can range from huge operations to a single person housing a couple of dogs off the street. But you may never know what you're dealing with when you're surrendering an animal. Go someplace where you can actually see the living conditions of the animal. If somebody's telling you they'll meet you at the Ikea parking lot or some other public space versus seeing how the animal is living, that would be a red flag for me. And if you can't, do thorough research online. Look for websites with recent pictures showing conditions around the property for multiple animals. The same should be true of a rescue's social media presence. Really, that's the big thing is transparency. Anderson says many rescues that get out of hand start with the good intentions of helping animals in need and become too much to handle. If you are watching and that's the case with you, he says shelters exist to help. You just need to give your local one a call. Now, Butler County deputies have issued an arrest warrant for Rhonda Murphy, the owner of Helping Hands for Fuzzy Paws. At last check, she was in the hospital and had not been taken into custody. Sean Delancey, WCPO 9 News.